So now we're gonna discuss how to appropriately lift your baby on and off of the floor. So the reason why this is important is because oftentimes people use so much of their back in an incorrect way and that's what can either perpetuate already the back pain that you're experiencing or you start to develop low back issues. And so this is really important for you to really understand the best and appropriate posturing that you should use when you are either lifting your baby off of the ground or even placing the baby on the ground. So um, for many of you, you're gonna find that you're really stiff in kind of your hip joints and it's really difficult for you to even get all the way onto the ground. Now I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna get up and kind of show you this posturing so you're not gonna be able to see my head for a little bit, um, but that's okay. You're just gonna listen um, to what I have to say and look at my posturing down below. So let's say your baby is on the ground. So what most people do incorrectly is their feet are together and they kind of lift their baby in this position. And you can see when I am in this position, my head, or sorry, my back is actually rounded. And so when I lift the baby, I am using so much of my low back musculature and kind of my ligaments and joints in order to lift the baby, which puts a lot of strain onto your low back over time, especially if you're doing this repetitively. So a better and more appropriate way to do this is actually spreading your feet apart, but also sticking your butt back. Okay, so you're trying to kind of fold in through the hips and really initiate this movement through your buttocks, okay? So when I do this versus this, you can see that when I'm actually getting my hips into it and my butt is going back, that my back actually stays straight. And so what then ends up happening is that you, this, the load actually goes into my hip versus my back and I'm using my hip muscles to actually lift and place the baby down onto the ground, okay? So just remember, hips are folded, butt goes back, that allows the back to stay straighter. It also allows your center of gravity to stay more appropriately in midline, okay? So that way now you're getting more even pressure from front to back and the load is going into your hips, which is much better um, for lifting on and off the ground. Now, over time, some of you are going to be able to get down on the ground in this position. But again, what we see quite a bit is that, you know, people get their baby and then maybe they're like lifting like this and there's a lot of like rotation. There's just a lot of awkwardness that try, you know, to try and get up off of the ground. So a better position, uh, a better positioning is actually if you are on the ground, try and see if you can get both feet into basically a squat position. Some of you are gonna be able to have your heels on the ground. If you have your heels on the ground, even better because again, your center of gravity is better. Some of you might not be able to do that. You're gonna need to be kind of almost on the balls of your feet and that's okay. A better way to do this is bring your baby close to you and then try and see if you can press your feet away from each other, almost as if you're trying to spread the ground between your feet and then lift up. And this is better because you can see how I'm keeping my body more in midline and I'm able to keep my center of gravity um, more in line with my body when I'm kind of going up and down this way, okay? Now the reason why you're spreading your feet apart is because when you spread your feet apart, you actually end up using your hip stabilizers in a much better way um, versus if you don't do that. So you may find that really pushing your feet away from each other actually helps quite a bit to give you the strength to kind of come on off of that position. Now, a third way that I just want to talk about as well is you can do kind of like a half kneel lift. So if you get to the point where you feel like you're strong enough, okay, or that you have the flexibility, then you could do a half kneel. Now again, what we see incorrectly, what people do is their feet are back kind of like this and then they're again lifting sort of like this. And you can see when I do that, I'm kind of using my back, I'm not keeping my center of gravity straight. So what you could do is put the, knee, the leg that is bent, put it further out in front and the back leg 
is also going to be, you're almost gonna be a little bit more square. And then what you wanna do, again, bring the baby close to you, that's really important, okay? Because that takes load off of your back. And you want to almost press your feet away from each other. So my back foot and my front foot, almost as if they're going to push apart. And when I do that, you can see I'm able to keep my center of gravity in line with my body. Now for some, this is gonna be way too difficult to do because you don't have the strength. So if you feel comfortable, again, you can hold your baby with one arm. If you have support on one side, again, push your feet away and then you can use help of the wall to help you lift up, okay? So those are three ways that um, allow you to um, lift your baby on and off the floor with appropriate posturing without compromising your back.